Welcome to Pilates Sculpt today. Grab a light set of weights, uh, elevated surface if you tend to like to have your hands elevated or maybe for your elbow for a side plank and also a blanket or something to cushion your knees or hips if that's an option uh, that you prefer as well. So we just kind of like to have our, our stuff nearby so you can always grab it when you need it and have those options. So well, let's go ahead and get started here. We'll come down or come onto the mat, just come to standing first. Now let's just start with some bigger, uh, big muscle movements. So taking those feet out wide, toes turned out, and we'll lower down, reach to the floor, and then reach to the sky. So deep breath in, exhale up, inhale. Now watching that those knees are not going past your toes, and you're not going to be letting the knees collapse in. So be mindful that they're not collapsing in here toward the center. So they're pushing out towards your pinky toe side. Your rib cage is staying down even when you reach overhead. Inhale, exhale, blow it out. Be mindful that there's not an overarch in the back as you're reaching up. We may even throw a few extra little kind of yoga sculpts moves in here today. We'll just mix it up, try to have a little fun with it. Let's go for four more. Three, two, and one. Now take a little pause, bring it back down into that wide plie, and then just shifting slightly. So notice I'm not taking that knee past the toe again. So I'm just straightening one leg, bending the other, leaning into it, but not a big, big lean over the toe. So body stays centered, just the legs moving. Notice everything else is stacked. Shoulders over hips. Your knees are not moving past your toes. Take a couple more rounds of breath here. Let's sweep it up and reach. Bring it down, reach. Inhale, center, exhale, reach. Again, just kind of find your center each time. Kind of a high, high, high squat, basically. Okay, right here. And then over to the side. Okay, slight lean. Let's take it for four more. Up for four. And three two, one more. Very good. Take a pause. Let's turn so that the toes are toward the front of your, or toward the long edge of your mat, facing forward now. Taking your left leg, go ahead and take that out. Toes are turning. So you bend that knee and we'll sweep the right arm up and over and reach. Take the left hand, the bottom hand, sweep it under and reach. Okay. Come back to center like you're in a warrior two. And then we'll reach it over. So activating for the core and for that leg. So should feel probably the glute, the quad starting to fire off here, holding you on your left side, the side that you're leaning toward. Okay, exhale. Just find a little hover, standing nice and tall, nice long line. Last three. And back to center. Two. Obliques firing off to hold you here. And one. Come all the way up. Take a pause. Bring the toe back in. Flip it to the other side. Now inhale. Bend that knee. Exhale and reach. Inhale. Exhale. So the lower body stays steady the whole time. You're in isometric hold or isometric contraction. So we're just keeping the muscles engaged, holding us here. That knee that's bent is also moving slightly towards your pinky toe side. Last three. And two. One more. And then back to center again. Come all the way center. Reach the arms up. Bring your hands behind. You could stack one hand on top of the other or just interlace your hands with your palms facing in and lift away from your back. Okay. Soften the knees just a little bit. We're gonna fold forward. Bring the hands down to the floor. If you need blocks or something to elevate your hands, go ahead and take that here. We'll drop the hips down so your knees are still nice and wide. I want you to push your knees out so they're not falling to the inside again. And then lift the hips up. So again, if that's a little challenging to reach the floor, take some blocks or take Anything, any items you have around the house, a little stool 
or an ottoman. Place your hands on that, go up higher. Okay, we're gonna bend the knees, drop the hips. Exhale, lift up. Three more, inhale. Exhale. Two, and exhale. The last one, and back up. And then bend your knees, bring your hands up above the knees and bring yourself all the way back up to standing. Take a little hop in or just step your feet in. A little hop is good. Okay, kick it out. So heels going back towards your glutes and just swing the arms a few times. So now we'll start to work with a little bit of weight. So if you have any weighted objects, it could be water bottles. It doesn't have to be real heavy. Soup cans, water bottles, or some light weights. Okay, you can go ahead and grab those. So from here, let's start with a basic squat. So shoulders relax down. You're gonna be taking your hips all the way back, making sure your knees don't move past your toes. I really want you to focus here. Spread your toes wide, anchor into your big toes, set your weight into your heels, and then come back up. Again, be mindful that you're not just bringing your chest forward. My hips didn't really move, they just hinged, right? So I, if I move the chest forward, it's a different movement, okay? So I'm trying to drop those hips down, also hinging at the knees and the hips at the same time. Inhale, coming down. Exhale, back up. And for four more, so I'll take, stay turned to the side. Three, because we'll start to find our way on the length of the mat. Two, good, and last one. So as you turn to the short end of your mat, go ahead and take your left leg, step it back. That front knee, again, not moving towards your toes. I want you to just bend your back knee a little and come back up. So this leg, this left leg, the one that's behind you, is not too far back, okay? So when you bend the knee, ideally we'd like to keep that in a nice line. So your knee right underneath your hip, front knee over the heel, shoulders stacked over hips. Good, inhale, coming down. Exhale, bring it up. Deep breath and exhale up. Good, last three, two, and one more. All right, take a little pause here. I want you to lean just gently forward, not too much. Just a nice little line from the back foot all the way up to the crown of your head and then floating the arms out. Okay, bring it down. So I'll turn a little here, good. There you go. Just a nice little fly. But you're sending weight more to the front of the body, so or to the front leg. So really anchoring through that big toe into your little toe to heel. There's still weight on your back foot. Push back through your heel. It's not on the floor, it's lifted. But we're still sending energy down the back side of the body as well. Last three. Make sure those weights don't fly past your shoulders. Two. And one. Now just step that left foot up to meet the right. Just tap it. Bring the elbows in. Now kicking back, tap it back and bend the elbows. I'm going to anchor those elbows into the side. So not smashing them in, but I'm just anchoring them so that there's not a swing of the arm. So that's the only thing that's moving there is that left leg and the arm from the elbow down to the wrist. So just moving from the elbow tapping your foot back, that right leg is steady and stable, probably burning by now, your glute and your quad. Okay, so front of the leg and into your glutes. Let's take it last three, two, and last one. Very good, come back up to stand. Whew, shake that side out, we'll switch sides. So you can still sit, Face the same direction. I will switch just because it's a little easier to see. So starting here, again, I want you to step your right foot back. Now it's just more of a natural little step here. Like if you had something on your mat behind you and you just had to step up and over it, that's pretty much it, okay? Not real big, but make sure that you can bend that knee and it goes straight down. So right now I've got it a little forward. I'm gonna step it back a little more for myself. That's the right spot for me. 
Okay, so lowering down and coming back up. So keeping that knee in line with the hip, coming down and back up. Okay. Inhale, the front knee can move forward a little, but we don't want it to move over the toes, okay? So inhale down, we're also getting a stretch through the front of the right leg as you're engaging the right glute, keeping it nice and contracted, keeping your shoulders relaxed, shoulders over hips, so again, be mindful that when you do this, that you're trying not to hinge forward to do it. You're coming right down and back up. So let's take three, two, and last one. Very good, take a pause. You're in the same position, but just put a little bend in the left knee. Shift your chest forward just a bit so you're in a nice long diagonal from your back heel all the way up to the crown of your head and taking the weights out to the side and back down. So just moving into a lateral fly. So just flying the arms out, bringing it down. Try to lead a little bit more with your elbow and your tricep, so the back of your arm slightly and your elbows rather than the back of your hands. So this would be the back of my hands lifting. Okay, so we don't want to we don't want to expose the palm to the to the viewer here. Okay, so keep it down and fly. Good. Relax those muscles around your neck. Shake it out a little. Shake your head a little. Let's go. Last three. Core engaged. So your ribs are in. Your hip points are connecting towards your ribs. So you've got the transverse abdominals and release that for just a moment. Now pausing here, step the right foot in, bend the elbows back, hug them in just a little bit, rock those shoulders so they're away from your ears, and now just tap and reach. Bring it in, step it back. So the whole body's not going with you, so it's not a lunge back and a lunge forward. It's just a stationary hold on that left leg. Really contract the back of your arms, send the end of your weight toward the sky. Inhale, exhale, ribs draw in, connect the core, last four, and three, two, last one, and then back to center, come back all the way up to standing and shake it out, very good, all right, let's take those weights together. Or you could take one weight end to end, depending on what you're using or the object that you're using. Okay, I'm gonna bring them right to center to start. Reach up just over the head. So more at an angle than right over the crown. So right over the forehead, right in front of you. Okay, inhale, balancing on your left foot, bring the right knee up and rotate. Take it back up, inhale, exhale, rotate. I'm keeping the arms the same the whole time. So it's a little slight bend in the elbow, but I'm just sweeping it across. Okay. Inhale, turn, rotate. Don't get in a hurry here. Find a focal point, maybe that's not moving, so maybe not me, but just beyond your screen somewhere or somewhere else in your room or the space you're in. Good job. So we really feel those shoulders if you're holding one or two objects there. Last four, three, two, and last one. Very nice. Whew. Shake that out for just a second. Make sure that you're nice and loose through the neck. Roll the shoulders a few times here. Good. So we'll come back into that wide position similar to where we started now. So get your toes pointing straight ahead to begin. Rotate your left foot toward the short end of your mat. Okay, keep your chest open toward the long edge or toward me, and then bend the knee. All right, so we're gonna sweep the arms up all the way overhead, palms are facing forward, and then bring it back down. Inhale, so a little kind of around the world with your arms and bring it back down. Palms are facing out the whole time, keeping a nice bend on that left leg. Deep breath, blow it out, but ribs are down. So I want you to make sure you've got that core engaged always here. So it does not mean we're cinching the waist the whole time. You just got a nice light contraction that you're still breathing within, just 
making sure that your core is stabilizing. Last three. And two. Very nice, last one. And as you pause here, bring your left elbow towards your thigh. Let's take that right hand, palm facing out again, and just push it over the head and bring it back. Up. So it's an overhead press, but we're at an angle. Working slightly differently here. We've still got that action on your left leg, lots of contraction there, holding you steady. Core engage, ribs down so you're not flaring. Good, last three. If it gets a little too heavy and you're holding something, just drop the weighted object and just move your arm. You can do the work without the weight. Now bring that elbow down, pause. I'm gonna bring the weight out more from the elbow and then rotate it in and out. It's just like a little door hinge right there. Like you're opening and closing your door. Now, when you pull it in, make sure that your shoulder doesn't rotate with you. So being mindful, it's not this action. So that elbow is in, I'm just closing and opening this door. So wrist is nice and straight. Great work for the rotator cuff muscles, the muscles that support and stabilize your shoulders. Last three. Good, two, breathe with me, blow it out. And one and rest. All right, very good. Come up, rotate that foot back in, kick back on the right heel, turn the toes, bend the knee. All right, so everything is set here, shoulders back and they're over your hips, everything's stacked. So when we bend the knee, just making sure you didn't lean into it, just bend that knee, walk your other foot in if you need more space or if it's bothering your hip on either side, just adjust yourself accordingly. Okay, so here we are, palms facing out again, those around the world, up and bring it down. Rib cage is in, tail feels a little heavy, it's not tucking necessarily, but we're keeping it nice and weighted. Up, relax around the neck, shake your head a little. Okay, so you don't want those muscles right around the neck, the upper traps or the vaders, those muscles that lift your shoulders up, we want those to relax. Just a little more so that we can use the top of the shoulder, medial delt, that nice teardrop muscle. Good, last three, nice and smooth, two, and give me one more. We're gonna bring it back to center. Now, just lean gently over to rest your forearm against your thigh, Take the other arm, palm faces out, and push it over the head and back down. It's just a nice diagonal all the way from your left heel to the left hand. Take it up, bring it down. A nice movement here. So notice it's a nice diagonal. Your head is in line with your spine. If it's becoming too much to take it in that diagonal space, you can just take it straight up to the sky as well. So either one will work. You could alternate back and forth. Taking it at that angle puts a little different uh, variation into the muscle action. So we're gonna contract it a little more. Okay, let's take it for last three, two, and one. Now bring that elbow down, pause. I'm gonna take the hand so that it's more even with the elbow now and open and close. So internal to external rotation, try to anchor through your wrist so you're not, you're not pretending that you're doing the movement by just flipping your wrist back, this happens. Okay, the body's always looking for a way out. <laughs> it's, sometimes those little muscles are like, nah, 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 nah. I don't wanna do that today, so hey, you do it. And uh, yeah, we're gonna recruit them. We're asking them to do some work today so that they can help us stabilize and function in a healthy way in our shoulders. Okay, so let's open and close just two more times. Inhale, exhale. Good job, last one. And then bring it back down and release it. All right, take the weights, go ahead and bend the knees. We're gonna set the weights down, come all the way back up, 
Sweep your arms back again, interlacing. You could take a strap behind you or something that you can hold on to. So when I say hand over hand, it just means your palms are facing out like this. That would work as well. Or like you're gonna clap your hands and interlace. Okay, so toes are pointing straight ahead. Try to lift away from your back, hinge from your hips, bend your knees a little and come forward. Let your head hang, shake it out. So once again, if that's not accessible, if you're having trouble holding your hands in any way, just take something nearby, a towel, a shirt, anything that's sitting around, a dish towel. If you have a strap, use that. Just hold it. Take one more breath. Now release your hands and bend those knees. Come up, hands go to the knees. And let's just take the legs out a little wider here. Toes are slightly turned out. I'm gonna shift over to the right and pause. Pick up the toes, pull them in just a little bit and sit down into that right hip. Come back up, let's switch sides. So turn the, the right toes in, left toes are just to the corner and come down. Try not to sit right in the hip, meaning don't sink down into that hip joint, but rather try to still engage your core, but set the hips back behind you and then come up. Let's do it one more time each side. So we'll just flip the toes, right toes turn out, left toes are straight ahead. We lower down, set the hips back like you're reaching for a stool or something that's back here behind you and come up, switch sides. So rotate left toes slightly out, right toes straight ahead and keep the whole foot planted from big toe to little toe again and toward that pinky toe side. Come back up, heel toe, or take a little hop back to center. All right, we're gonna come down to the mat. So we gotta get there in a fun way, of course. So we're gonna come down to the end of your mat. Take a little moment here, pause, walk it down. And so walk yourself all the way out and then dropping your knees. So here we are gonna work on a few push-ups. So if you'd like to take an elevated space, you can take a table or a chair, something wider than my ottoman, preferably, because <laughs> I wanna take the hands a little wider here. But if you do have something that's going to be elevated here, you would be in your elevated plank. All right, so otherwise, hands are about the width of your mat or about slightly wider than your shoulders if you're on an elevated space. Let's inhale, make sure those ribs are pulled in, core contracted, slowly lower yourself down. Let those elbows come back a little. You can go all the way to the floor. Now take a breath, find your plank before you lift. So your core is engaged, activate and push back up. Okay, so here we go. Inhale, slowly take it down. So we're working here in that eccentric phase, that lengthening phase, it's harder. Okay, now contract as you push. So contract first through your core, inhale, exhale, push, back up. All right, let's do it again two more times, just like that. So we're lowering down, slow. Try to slow your descent down. Activate your upper back in this movement. And now pause, hit the floor, inhale, activate your core and push. Okay, give me one more, inhale. Everything's coming down at the same time. Allow yourself to just softly land. Inhale, rock your shoulders back, engage. Get your tail down, your ribs in. Let's go, push it up and sit back. Good, very, very functional movement to be able to get up from the floor right there. Okay, so whether you're doing it elevated or on the mat, you're still working in a functional way. So we're gonna work on some side plank movements and some core here. But if you have your elevated surface, I'm gonna show you that first, okay? But if you're on your mat, just stay there, it's fine. And you can follow along, same, same thing on the mat. Okay, so as you come over on your mat or on your elevated space, make sure you've got a little cushion to it because it could get uncomfortable, but we don't wanna rock the weight back in the elbow. So I want you to put your forearm down and roll some weight towards your hand as well. So it's across your forearm here, okay? so. From there, shoulder to knee is a nice diagonal line rather than being right here, okay? So we are in a side plank. That means we're in a diagonal line here. We're gonna drop the hip, but keep the shoulder steady and bring it back up. Good. So we inhale, drop it down and bring it up. 
So you can continue there in your elevated space. If you're working on the floor, I'll join you. Okay. Same thing. So we drop down, come up, inhale. I want you to really push through that forearm. Let that shoulder stay engaged into the girdle. So if you put your other hand there for a moment, you'll notice no movement happening, right? It's just me dropping the hip and lifting it up. Let's say two more. Now we're gonna get that top waist. Now bottom, bottom leg, bottom waist is gonna be kind of on fire for a moment, that's okay. Reach your hand, inhale, exhale, pick up your top leg and crunch. Inhale, reach, exhale, crunch. Good job, exhale. If it bothers your neck here, look down at your forearm. Last three, two, Last one, and you've got it. Good job, bring it all the way down. All right, shake it out a little bit. Just come to seated. We'll do a quick stretch there, just reaching up and over, away from the side that you had on the floor. Okay. Bring it back over. So as you come all the way back over, you're gonna rest on the floor on this one, and you'll be on your side. So you'll be on your shoulder and on the back of your arm. Okay, resting here, knees are together to start. Let's go ahead and slide that top leg down the mat. So the bottom knee is forward, the top leg is straight down from your hip, your top hand is in front of you. So we're just wrapping the hand around the waist or around the shoulder, wherever it feels most comfortable for you. Inhale, you're gonna push into the hand that's on the floor and press it up. <sighs> Inhale. It's okay if it takes a little time, the first two or three times even, your body starts to adapt, starts to understand what you're asking it to do. Those muscles will start to fire and they'll get stronger each time. We're just building new neural pathways. That just means we're building new neurological connections to our brains and our muscles, from our brain, uh, brains, <laughs> we have, if we have multiple brains, from our brain to our muscles and actually into the muscle fibers. So keep pressing, bring it down. We're gonna go about three more after this one. If you wanna see how your strength is and your balance and your core, you can stack your knees and see the difference. It takes a little more because now we don't have that extra lever to counterbalance us. So it takes a little more effort to get up and push. Good, bring it back down and rest. So you can just kind of flop it over for a second. Nice big stretch, open up the chest, open up the arms into a wonderful little twist, twist here with your knees together. All right, we're gonna be rolling over to the other side. Once again, we're gonna start with that side plank. So if you've got your elevated space you wanna use, flip yourself around or move the item. And we're gonna take, let's take the bottom knee bent, top leg straight, now the legs are together, they're even. One knee is not in front of the other. Okay, so we're here. Let the shoulders relax back away from your ears. Press into your forearm, not just your elbow, and lift. Now we're in our go position. Rock that shoulder so it's engaged. And we're going to lift and lower the hip. So we drop it down and up. Now you can take your other hand. Just rest it right there at the top of your shoulder. And notice if there's a lot of hinging happening there. So if there's a lot of kind of movement going forward and back. You wanna keep it steady. Just think the hips are only moving, that's it. Just lifting and lowering your hips. Nice. So we're still engaging through the core, the deep center core. So your ribs down, hips pulled up a little bit. Just connecting the two, breathing. Last two, last one. Now, hold it and sweep that top arm. Exhale and crunch. Inhale. Exhale. Once again, if you find any discomfort of your neck, take a look down. And we've got three more almost there. Two. And last one. Very good. Drop it down. Bend the knees, bring them forward. Rest down on your bottom shoulder bottom, the 
bicep or the, excuse me, the tricep here on the floor. And we can just wrap it around here or to the shoulder itself. So top hand moves out. It's about even with the center of that arm. So not way up here by your shoulder, but bring it back a little. Okay. And we're gonna rock that elbow out slightly. Straighten your top leg, inhale. Activate your core first and then exhale, push. Inhale, come down and then exhale, push. So every time I want you to think about your core engaging before the movement. So you gotta start your exhale. Let's take a breath together. Start your exhale, blow it out, then lift. That's gonna help you engage your core before you lift. Exhale, your core is constantly supporting you in all of your movements. And when it's not, we feel the effects, right? In the limbs and in the back and in our spine. We need it to stay nice and steady and stable to help with all the external or all the extra movements of the limbs. So again, challenge yourself a little more if you want to take those knees and stack them. See how different that feels. Last three, two, one more right here and up. Awesome work. You can keep your knees stacked or go ahead and stack them if they weren't already. Just flop that hand back and open up your chest into a nice twist. And this is where we'll stay forever. No, not really. Okay, roll back now onto your back. You can move yourself on your mat if you're off of it. And then bring those knees into the chest. Give them a nice hug, rock it side to side. Maybe even holding on behind the knees, get a little deeper. And take the feet back to the mat. Big full body stretch, reach it out. Circle out through your wrist. Go ahead and bring your palms up right over your chest, your hands right over your chest. Flip one hand toward the sky, so your palm is facing toward the ceiling, and then pull the hand back, pull the fingers back with your other hand. And then flip it the other way. Let's do that to the other side. So flipping the palm to the sky, pull it back. Bring it back the other direction. And then just take the arms out nice and wide. Open up. Give yourself a big hug. Ooh, feels good. Bend your knees. And cross one leg over the other. Nice big hug here. Go ahead and open the arms, switch the legs, swap whichever arm was on top. And then release it again, separate the legs and just go side to side with your knees. Then rocking all the way over to one side, straighten that top leg again. We learned this already, that makes it easier to get up. So we press back up to seated. And as you come to seated, let's take just a moment here, a little extra spinal rotation. So from seated, inhale and exhale, rotate around. Inhale to center, exhale, rotate. All the way to center, take a big sweep up. Let's go side stretch, reach it over. And then to the other side. All the way up. And then sweep both arms, inhale, let the hands meet at center, come down. Give yourself a bow to your Pilates Sculpting Rockstar Center today. Because you showed up, you did something good for yourself, and you are amazing. Thanks for being here.